So can everyone see the slide? Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. All right, so um, I'd like to welcome everyone today to our presentation, uh, Hands-On Lightning Component with Forest Record Data. I am um, Linda, you, my Twitter handle is the Boot Panda. Um, also on the line with us is Orlando Bersano Gomez. He is our group co-leader. He's gonna be managing our chat for us since I can't see it while I'm sharing my screen. <laughs> Um, the, I'm going to do this in three parts. <clears throat> our first part is kind of the preparation stuff. What do we have to set up in our org to be able to actually create our lightning component and to set up the custom object that actually holds the data we're using. So our scenario this morning is that the sales manager at the company we work for wants to keep our customer metrics in the minds of everyone. So they want to know want us to know, you know, what are the total spend and volume, no matter what record you're on, as long as it somehow relates to account. So if you're on a contact, if you're on an opportunity, if you're on a case, if you're on a custom object related to account, they want you to be able to see those numbers without really having to do too many clicks. So to meet this need, we're going to build a lightning component <clears throat> in the Aura framework. It's going to use force record data and it <clears throat> we have to build it so it has the flexibility to work on these different objects and always provide the same data. Our uh, data model for the summary data, it's obviously directly related to account. Um, it's a fairly simple model. It's a sales summary object. We get it with uh, obviously a link back to the account. Um, the end of the month, there's some kind of date field so we know when it's for because there are going to be multiple records per account the total spend for that period, the total products. And then there's a special external ID to make sure that when we're loading data later, we don't overwrite existing data or create duplication. So our tasks for preparation for this org is first of all, in account, we need to add um, an external ID. That's so that um, we can use the data file that's been prepared to match to the existing account records. Um, this is going to be just a simple text field. I set it to a length 20. It's uh, case insensitive in this case. And we're going to include it in our page lab so we can see it and update it as we need to. We're going to add a custom object. And that custom object is going to be called sales summary. We'll use auto number for the ID field. And then the fields are listed there. And I'm going to actually step through doing this in um, an org. We're then going to need to populate that data. We actually have uh, sales data pre-created, and I will share that out with you. Um, and it's actually, the link to it is actually in the handout, but I'll show that on the screen in a moment. And um, something else to keep in mind is if you're using, doing this in your regular org, or if you're doing this in a developer org, because it uses Lightning, you must have my domain activated. Um, if you have not activated my domain, you would need to. Um, to be able to include custom components. So that's our preparation slides. The handout um, looks like this. I've shared the link with all of you. I see a bunch of you are already in there so you can see it. it takes you step by step through what we're gonna do. Um, I've already got, oh, just to give you a quick view of what it looks like. When we're done, our component kind of looks like this. This is a contact record for someone in um, another org. I have multiple right now. Um, and it's going to look like this, where it's got the spend and the products on it. I'm going to close out on that org and take you into the org that I'm ready to do set up in. So from our handout, our first step is to set up that external ID that we're going to call um, custom external ID on our account object. So I'm going to come in here and go to account. And my new field. <clears throat> Let me get text. We're going for twenty. Should I my pants? Let's save. First step done. I can check to make sure it's here. 
<clears throat> I could check the object. I'm going to go on though. So the next part is to create our sales summary object. <clears throat> and then add the fields to it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I can go to object manager. I create a new custom object. Labels. I'm going to switch to um, an auto number. And, um, use anything you want really in here. And, just, and I tend to just change that to number when I use auto number. Something wrong. Oh, I know what I did. Make sure your brackets are only around the number part. And so we have the object and we can add the fields. Following along in here, there is the whole little table of our fields. So the first thing I'm going to add is our lookup. And I'm just doing this as a lookup. I was not going to make it uh, master detail. <clears throat> you could. Uh, that gives you a lot of other options for ways to get data from this object into page layouts. But for this demo, we're just doing it this way. I'm going to leave the default name. I think. Sure. Yep. Next one is the currency. Yeah, total spend. So currency. Do I have a decimal on there? Oh, yeah, it's sixteen two. Okay. Next one is uh, number, total products. Okay. And then our external ID. Right. So 20. What did I do? I clicked the wrong button. That's OK. Back to Oh, you need to be good. And external ID. Which I yep. The other object and fix that, because I forgot to check those boxes. So that's all the objects. And I remember the external ID. Um, I'm going to go back to account really quick to my customer account field because I forgot to check some boxes. So I forgot to check the external ID and the unique down here. So. <coughs> so we have all the fields. And now we're going, we would load the, I want to get it in the page layout. 
for account. So I'm already back on account. I'm going to go to page layouts and choose my account layout. And I'm going to add my sales summary is already there because I just didn't uncheck those boxes, but I'm going to actually move it up so it'll be quicker to see it. No, I did not do it. It's always hard when my screen is suddenly much smaller than I'm used to. Try once more and if it, you know, pull it off this time and I'm all. That at least gets it higher. So if I quickly Come back here to sales. Jeez. Go to the accounts tab. Not all accounts, so you can see them in that. And I'll just pick an account. Under my related, I should see sales summary. So at least the object's there, there's no data in there. Now, to be able to use the data file, I actually have a data file out here um, in the handout, there is a link to it. We actually have to first populate that customer external field based on what's in here. So if we look in here at the customer external, we'll see I kind of chose abbreviations for four companies. So we have to find and get that field populated. And they're all caps. So if I come back to my Burlington textiles, my uh, external ID should be showing near the top of the section. Um, helps if I type right. And I'll have to do that for all the accounts that are in the spreadsheet. So back to the spreadsheet, edge communications. And I did oil and gas. Decay is, yep. Hopefully, one, yeah. U of AZ. U of AZ. So once all those are in, <clears throat> I know I'll be able to deal with my data without it failing. This file that's out here, um, you'll notice the date format is a uh, four year month day with dashes. That's the format preferred by uh, Workbench, which is what I'm using to load the data. Um, I believe that format also works for data loader. Um, you're gonna wanna save the file. Um, if you're in here, you can do file download and you can choose comma separated. Um, I've already got it saved, so I'm going to hold off that. And then the next piece I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Workbench. Um, Workbench.developerforce.com is the URL. 
um, since I'm using a developer org, or if you're using a sandbox, you can do it with production, you would have to know the password of your org. And I'm already, because I'm, sometimes it does an auto login for you, sometimes it doesn't. Today it's cooperating for me. <laughs> and then I would just go to data insert. I choose the object, so I'll have to find my sales summary object. and my from file and I'll have to find the file where it's saved on my desktop or in my downloads folder. Click next. Um, I should have most of the field is mapped okay. Owner ID I obviously don't have. For this one, I'm going to use the field called customer external ID. It is a Spark lookup on account customer external ID. I think, yes. So that's the field in my file, and that's how it's doing the lookup. Then I say map fields, confirm insert, and we have success. Okay. So if I go back to my org, and I can really quickly refresh this record, there should be one record for University of Arizona. So if I scroll down here to sales summary, I have one record. If I clicked on it, I could see that that data is all loaded. So I'm going to stop sharing at this point and open it up to questions. So 